Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here at Park Conversations. Bago po natin simula ng ating 8th webisode, hindi ko na patatagalin pa ang paghihintay ng ating mga fur parents dahil i-announce na po natin ang winner sa ating first ever Bark Rangers Pet Costume Contest. At bago po tayo dumako sa ating mga winners, isa-isahin po muna natin ang mga cute na cute na fur babies at ang kanilang mga photos. First participant natin ay si Coco, followed by Ellie, Tyler, Bazinga, Kendra, Argo, Jenny, Mochi, Chi, Princess, Dewey, Orby, and Yogi. Ayan ang ating mga cute na cute na fur babies. And among them among them all na nag-submit, ay syempre meron tayong piniling top three. And here they are. Congratulations kay Coco na nag-commit ng 392 Facebook reactions. Siya po ang top three natin sa ating Bark Rangers Pet Costume Contest. Ang ating top two naman ay si Kendra. With 519 Facebook reactions. And of course, ang ating winner ay walang iba kundi si... Orby the Pirate! Siya po ay nag-commit ng 810 Facebook reactions. Congratulations kay Orby, kay Kendra, at kay Coco for winning the first ever Bark Rangers Pet Costume Contest. At para po sa kanilang mga fur mamas and fur papas, Abangan niyo po ang pagkontak sa ni, ng aming staff sa inyo para po sa inyong premyo na coffee table book ng NPDC at dog treats. Congratulations po ulit and dadako na po tayo sa ating park conversations, Paco Park and Cemetery, History and Rehabilitation. All right, congratulations to all of our fur parents uh, for joining our Bark Conversations, sorry, Bark Conversations, Bark Rangers. <laughs> uh, naging Bark Conversations today. <laughs> so hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome to the eighth webisode of 
Park Conversations, Paco Park History and Rehabilitation, brought to you by the National Parks Development Committee, an attached agency of the Department of Tourism. My name is Jez, and I am your moderator for this evening. Ngayong gabi, we have a very, very special guest. Of course, as part of our Luneta Kutan 2020 Halloween special, we are proud to bring a lively discussion about Paco Park, which is one of the parks that NPDC manages. This year, we are celebrating Paco Park's 200 years uh, as it was opened uh, for the public during the 1820 outbreak of cholera. So uh, to explain more about the Paco Park and its ongoing rehabilitation, we have a partnership with Escuela Talier de Filipinas. Uh, here with us is architect Jeffrey Cobilia. So I'll give you a little background about our special guest speaker tonight. As a conservation architect, uh, architect Jeffrey or Fum Cobilia has participated in a wide range of projects involving documentation and architectural mapping, the conduct of studies about spirit of place of heritage sites, towns and communities, the conduct of surveys and studies to determine cultural significance, and the preparation of conservation management plans as well as the preparation of intervention master plans for monuments and sites. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in architecture at the College of Architecture of University of the Philippines Diliman and is currently pursuing his master's degree in architecture also in UP Diliman, specializing in conservation of architectural heritage. So he is currently the head of project development and management for the heritage conservation of Escuela Taliar de Filipinas Foundation, where he manages various conservation projects of the organization. Among these projects for conservation are Malate Church, San Pablo Cathedral, Santa Ana Church Facade, the maintenance of Fort Santiago's front wall, Apalit Church, and Casa Blanca Loggia in Plaza San Luis Complex in Intramuros, to name a few. He's also drafted the policies of conservation management plan for the, Met, for the Manila Metropolitan Theater, so the Manila Met. He served as Vice President of Heritage Conservation Society Youth, UP Diliman Chapter, and was also the member of the Board of Trustees of ICOMOS, Philippines, or International Committee on Monuments and Sites. So he is currently doing research on the use of lime for conservation of stone structures in the Philippines. So we have a very, very well accomplished speaker for, to eat for tonight. But before I give the floor to our esteemed speaker, let me remind our viewers of the following. First off, our webisode tonight will be streaming live on Facebook through our Facebook page, npdc.ph, and will be available on demand after tonight's discussion. So please share your web this webinar with your friends and family. We'd also like to hear from you during this live discussion. So if you have questions, kung may mga tanong pa mga viewers, please feel free to send it through the Q&A button if you're watching on Zoom. And if you're on Facebook Live, please do it through the comment section. And lastly, for those who successfully answer and submit our online survey, makakatanggap po sila ng digital certificate of attendance. So please don't forget to um, fill out the survey, abangan nyo po to sa chat box at sa, uh, ch sa chat box or sa comment section on Facebook. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's please welcome here in Park Conversations, conservation architect, Jeffrey Fum Cobilia of Escuela Talier de Filipinas. Welcome. <laughs> oh, you're on mute. Oh, there we go. Oh, there sorry. Go. There you All go. Right. So thank you, uh, Jess and uh, MPDC for uh, having Escuela Talier. No? Uh, again, uh, we always take this opportunity to share our uh, knowledge and experience uh, sa various projects na ng, uh, sa conservation ng uh, aming foundation. So again, thank you. No? So I hope uh, this will be an interesting because uh, topic because this is very timely. No? Hindi lang because of our... Uh, of, of uh, what we're celebrating right now because of uh, other contexts pa na that we are ex experiencing uh, right now. No? So let me share lang my, ano, uh, my screen. 
please, I know, Jez. There we go. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, uh, sorry. Share screen. Am I disabled? Again. All right. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. All right. So again, uh, welcome and thank you to Park Conversations uh, tonight. Uh, we will uh, discuss uh, uh, what has happened to uh, Paco Park or what used to be the Paco uh, Cemetery. No. Um, so let me go through. Um, just a brief uh, summary and highlights lang of the events that uh, happened sa, sa Paco Park. No? So we will not be detailing uh, uh, all of those things uh, because uh, this, uh, that will take us uh, too much time. No? So uh, about cemeteries, uh, generally uh, early Spanish colonial era graveyards or cemetery adjoined uh, churches. No? Uh, katabi sila ng church. Uh, I think there are still several um, cemeteries or churches that have uh, that have uh, graveyards or cemeteries uh, nakatabi nung katabi mismo nung simbahan. The last one that I remember is sa Dimyao yata, no? Uh, sa Dimyao sa Bohol. I think uh, medyo kamukha niya nga yung uh, mga libingan sa Paco Park na may mga niche, no? So early Spanish colonial era graveyards, no, katabi yung uh, mismong simbahan. And in fact, some of the priests and, uh, you know, uh, personalities, uh, uh, government officials are even interred within the church, no. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, yung iba nga ngayon, may mga epitaph pa ng mga yumao dun sa mga gilid ng, gilid ng walls. And, uh, yeah, yung mga may kaya or yung mga uh, prominenting uh, uh, personalities before uh, or even interred within the church. However, uh, as, as as towns grow, as towns grow and uh, you know uh, mortality rate uh, grew, then no, uh, nagkaroon ng overcrowding sa cemeteries and graveyards within the church, no. Uh, this happened uh, during the 18th uh, century no marami ng uh, I mean, tao sa towns at nag-grow na talaga so uh, come 1789 uh, at the end of the of the 18th century uh, there was a the royal ordinance you no know, uh, saying na cemeteries should be established or erected outside towns you no know, outside towns although Although uh, my accounts, uh, I read an account, I, 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 I caught an account uh, noong 1689 no, na nagsasabi na uh, a one, one, do, one cemetery in Bohol uh, uh, was detached na, no? detached na sa church. At ang context nito is because of uh, the smallpox uh, pandemic, or, or no, sorry, epidemic lang, sa local lang, no? smallpox uh, epidemic. Uh, but uh, the ordinance nung 1789, uh, I, same context actually, no? same context, mataas ang mortality rate because of uh, uh, an epidemic din na nangyayari at that time. Uh, what was happening uh, then uh, was uh, may epidemic ng cholera, no? may epidemic ng uh, cholera. No? So yeah, this this slide uh, tells you about about uh, that 1807 royal ordinance. Uh, yung cholera na yon, uh, mind you. Uh, so again, no, uh, sabi ko kanina similar sa context natin, similar sa context natin today. Uh, yung cholera na yon, may mga account na nagsasabi, may mga authors na nagsasabi na uh, it was due to trading, no? Uh, so yung epidemic na nadala yung cholera na nadala sa Pilipinas is uh, uh, can be attributed to trading so you know uh, at that time naman uh, madalas makipag-trade ang ang Pilipinas outside uh, 
uh, outside the Philippines, no? So isang isang tinitingnan niyo. So again, very very similar sa context natin ngayon with this um, uh, pandemic, no? Uh, yung yung restrictions sa travels ng ng in and out of the country uh, ay kinokontrol because uh, para makontrol yung spread ng pandemic, no? So they had the same situation uh, before, no? And then uh, again, same context ngayon, maraming projects ang government, initiatives ang uh, government uh, na of course walang opposition, no? For example, itong Paco Park when uh, uh, it was proposed, uh madami din nag oppose no the proposal was opposed by some um, uh, citing na yung katawan daw ng mga namatay eh baka baka kainin ng mga hayop ng mga birds no so um, isa yun sa mga sinasabi nila kasi before near sa, sa church near sa church so madbilis nilang nababantay or madali nilang nababantay yan uh, and then guarded siguro or uh, secured but with a uh, with a proposal, with a proposal, uh, the government uh, then tried to convince people na hindi ginagawa na to sa Europe, ginagawa na to sa Europe. So this is a practice being done uh, in 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 uh, other countries. So walang problema, no. Uh, and then also some some people also said na masyadong bonga, masyadong extravagant, masyadong extravagant ang ang design. So na parang instead of uh, cemetery sa ibang projects na lang. So madaming may mga nag nag, nag uh, oppose no but uh, people or the government was able to uh, convince uh, them no lalong-lalo na nung may nag-occur na typhoon noong October 1820, maraming namatay no maraming namatay and again na overwhelm uh, na overwhelm na yung uh, na overwhelm ulit yung mga graveyards and then uh, followed by sorry wrong ano uh, epidemic ulit uh, yung account ng cholera may accounts before ng cholera na alos yearly siya nag nangyayari so aside from uh, aside from uh, typhoon no aside from typhoon may ongoing uh, recurrence pa ng uh, epidemic ng cholera no so that's why people were uh, people were convinced no na okay we need a cemetery outside uh, particularly no sa sa intramuros no so ito uh, what you are uh, seeing right now is the original initial no the first plan of uh, Paco Park so this is what uh, part of what you uh, can still uh, see Right now, no. Hopefully, we can all be able to go outside and uh, visit uh, Paco Park uh, soon. So, makikita nyo isang uh, bilog lang siya with uh, with a uh, uh, small space dun sa bandang uh, likod. Uh, below that drawing is the elevation, no. Makikita nyo yung semicircle sa taas. I think that is the chapel, no. Yung medyo eclipse parang hugis itlog. I don't know if you can see my 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 my, my mouse. This one uh, here, no. Ito yung uh, roof noon, no. So again, uh, uh, sa notes, no. Some some design and management considerations, no. Uh, hindi lang basta ilabas, kailangan may follow na design. So noon pa man, you see, uh, mayroon na silang policies and guidelines in establishing this uh, uh, particular uh, structures, no. Na una. Uh, yung mga mag establish ng new graveyards or cemeteries outside or na at detached sa mga graveyards uh, should be the towns that uh, were that are hardly hit nung ano no nung epidemic no next cemeteries are to be located outside town center pero pero um, uh, ano yung, yung distance niya I mean yung layo niya appropriate distance siya no kumbaga if you can imagine, I hope uh, the people who are listening to us right now is familiar with the uh, uh, sa location ng Paco Park. Yeah. This is walking distance lang sa Intamuros. In fact, when we were doing this, madalas naglalakad or nagbabike lang kami to visit the site from Intramuros. No, So very ano siya, no? manageable siya to... Um, uh, to go to no lalo if uh, lalo nung panahon na 
lalo ng panahon na yon, no? So outside the center, uh, outside the town center o ng poblasyon, uh, well ventilated uh, before, uh, I'm sure, uh, the area of uh, Paco and Malate, uh, flat na flat yan, wala pang tall buildings yan. So I'm sure the breeze of uh, the air coming from uh, the bay uh, uh, can be felt dyan sa area ng uh, Paco. Of course, suitable yung terrain. Uh, very particular sila dyan na, na yung uh, magpa-facilitate ng proper decay ng mga corpses. So I guess may, may, may technical data pa or technical information pa about this. I don't know. No? Hindi ako expert sa pag agnas I'm sure uh, may appropriate na lupa para ano, no? uh, para maagnas ng mabuti yung uh, corpses. Then of course, uh, kung nasa yung cemetery should not uh, uh, contaminate no yung source ng potable uh, water wala pang may nilad na wasa noon no uh, i'm sure they get uh, uh, their fresh water sources from wells no or uh, coming from 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 hills or mountains but uh, thinking of manila i'm sure wells yan so it should not be in contact or near uh, yung abundant source of uh, potable uh, water to avoid, to prevent uh, contamination. And then, uh, maganda dito, yung sinabi natin conditions no, na hinighlight natin should be done no, or examined scientifically uh, by a qualified person in the field of uh, medicine. Now, very particular sila dito because of what is happening nga. Remember, may nagkakaroon na ng uh, every now and then ng epidemic ng cholera. So they want to make sure na yung mga provisions set by the uh, decree is uh, properly examined by the appropriate or the, yeah, the appropriate professional. And then uh, okay, na established na yung area, yung yung area, yung 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 plans or the design uh, should be drawn up, should be executed by an architect or a maestro de obras kung walang available na uh, na architect no and then uh, isa pa sa mga highlight or hinighlight doon sa decree that we are seeing right now uh, sa Paco Park or sa Paco Cemetery mataas dapat yung wall no mataas siya and then uh, administration or management naman uh, uh, yung mga nililibing no uh, people who are interned uh, sa sa park Eh, parang yung ngayon din, I think ganun din sa sa mga sementeryo ngayon, nakalis, no? So, five-year burial right, no? Uh, dati may ano pa, may package deal pa sila, no? For a single person or single body in third sa isa sa mga niches ng ng ano, ng Paco Park, sa Paco Park, five years, no? Uh, five years. And then kung dalawa naman, yung ililibin, yung papasok doon sa niche, sa niche Eh, three years ang ano doon. I think ang rate somewhere nasa 20 pesos yata. No, if I remember if I remember correctly the reading na nakita natin, no. And of course, there, there should be a funeral chapel nearby, if not nearby, within sa within within the graveyard, within the cemetery uh, compound, no. So, yeah, uh, cemetery uh, the Paco Park or Paco Cemetery has a uh, chapel on its own. Pero yung ibang mga na-establish, no, kung wala daw, sabi ng decree, kung walang chapel, uh, yung mga barrio chapels, no, yung mga maliliit na uh, chapel uh, could be uh, could serve as funeral uh, chapels in the meantime. No? Uh, maganda din na, naka, na hinighlight nung, ano, nung decree, uh, may separate area dapat for children. So, this is what you are seeing nandun sa bandang taas, if you can see my pointer, no? Yun yun, yung area na yun. This is the designated uh, uh, area for uh, children, yung oswario, no? Uh, ito yung i-highlight natin later sa uh, presentation na to, no? Uh, what has been done uh, dito sa, sa area nito, no? And then, dapat allocated, no? Kumbaga ngayon, siguro dapat nasta gaa. <laughs> Nasa, gaan, nasa General Appropriations Act siguro dapat yung, yung budget no? uh, uh, should be spacious, simple, and uh, economical. Uh, ang design was based sa uh, Camposanto. If you, 
if, if you guys are familiar sa mga Campo Santo, marami na dito, no? mga Simborio or Campo Santo. There's one in, I saw one in Tabaco or Tui, which is hardly hit by the typhoon right now. Yung isa pang sikat, eh, yung sa San Joaquin, sa Iloilo. I don't know if uh, uh, nabasa nyo yung uh, issue before doon na nagkaroon ng, ng uh, treasure hunting doon sa Campo Santo sa Iloilo. So all these, all these Campo Santos are uh, circular or siguro octagonal yung, 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 yung iba. No? And uh, I mean, talagang ang design, preferred design talaga niya is as, as you can see, uh, three, uh, pabilog, no? Uh, pabilog siya. Concentric circles, no? walls uh, encircling each other. Uh, three meters apart, so it should have uh, space. Sabi nga, spacious siya dapat. And should, uh, should be four meters high. Four meters high. Uh, yung sa Paco, no? uh, sa Paco Park, uh, three tiers or three layers ang nasa uh, ang, ang nasa isang bay kumbaga no so yan all right so um, finally finally the design was uh, the design was uh, drawn up and it was inaugurated in uh, 1922 although uh, there are uh, several accounts no saying that uh, even before the inauguration uh, the cemetery was already um, being used, no? Uh, I suppose, no? Um, if I, I can assume, no? Na siguro, again, madami na namang namamatay mga panahon na yan, no? Not only because of the, the, the cholera epidemic, but because, you know, I, I think the, the, the Intramuros or Manila is starting to grow really uh, during this, this time. That's why in 1859, uh, um, in 1859, uh, may addition na outer wall. So kung if you remember the uh, kanina, no? so yan, no? nadagdagay niya ng isa pang bilugan na uh, walls. Yan yung nakikita niyo na part nung, ano, ng uh, entrance. No? And uh, note, ha? it was uh, done by a Chinese contractor. No? So madaming connection sa mga nangyayari sa issues sa paligid natin ngayon. No? Uh, even before even before may Chinese contractors na, no? uh, may Chinese contractors na nagumagawa, no? and uh, in 1863, uh, isa sa mga malalakas na earthquake yata ito, no? uh, sa sa Manila. Uh, so the above photo, uh, makita nyo kung saan siya uh, uh, dinala. No? So yung kanyang inverted or yung ginambol na, na, na initials niya na hindi medyo halata. So and then the, the photo below, no? I just grabbed this from uh, the many photos ng Paco Park sa internet. No? And yan siya ngayon. Uh, or or uh, several years uh, back. Uh, the cemetery was decommissioned in, uh, no, sorry, 1912. Typo yan. Uh, 1912, ah? hindi, hindi 1812. And in uh, the Second World War, it was used as um, supply and ammunition depot by the Japanese. In fact, nag-install pa sila ng mga, ng mga I mean, their uh, weapons uh, there. Uh, si Major Lawton, no? If you're wondering kung sino si Lawton, uh, isa siya sa mga uh, majors or officers ng uh, US Army. Uh, dito yung muna siya dinala bago siya i-ship back or uh, yeah, dalhin sa United States when, uh, when, when, when he died. No? And in uh, yeah, and then in 1966 uh, it was converted into a national park. No, but uh, backtrack lang tayo, no? Uh, sorry. Uh, this is one of uh, the old photos ng, 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 ng Paco Park, no? Remember, remember yung sinabi natin kanina na uh, cemeteries uh, were being overwhelmed. Uh, and then uh, may, may time frame din yung uh, lease 
may time frame din yung 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 list so this is the place behind uh, the ossuary where yung siguro mga nag naglaps na yung list nila doon sa mga niche eh eh dito na tinransfer yung mga ano no to make way for uh, make way for new internments okay so uh, nung naging park it was uh, designed later on by uh, yung park niya yung landscaping niya sa sa loob was designed by national artist uh, IP Santos no and then in 2016 if i remember correctly i hope uh, i'm i'm right it was declared by the national museum as a national cultural uh, treasure because uh, of its significance no uh, i suppose no uh, uh, there is uh, wala pa yatang uh, statement of significance or cultural significance ang ang uh, Paco Park or yung old Paco Cemetery but i'm sure being declared as a national uh, cultural uh, treasure uh, no maraming aspects of the place of the site that is uh, of uh, high uh, value cultural uh, value that is why in 2015 no so that's the uh, summary ng highlights ng ano no ng uh, Paco Park that's why in 2015 uh, the, the, the NPDC partner with the uh, Escuela Talier to to help them in uh, maintaining uh, the walls of the park, no? Uh, kasi marami ng conditions doon na hindi uh, kaya aya. Uh, it's uh, it's starting really to to decay in a in 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 a, in a no significant uh, rate. That's why. Uh, uh, the then uh, executive uh, director of the NPDC asked us to do something about it. So our 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 uh, escuela taliers uh, uh, trainees and graduates work on pa a part of the the park or the walls of the old uh, cemetery. So um, segue lang tayo before I continue. Uh, just to introduce to you, or oh, sino yung gumawa, no? Sino yung gumawa ng mga a recent intervention sa uh, na ito ang gumawa po ay ang Escuela Talier de Pilipinas Foundation we are a um, non-government uh, organization uh, that was uh, started by the government of uh, the Philippines and uh, Spain as a project no cooperation project siya that aims to uh, equip to un the underprivileged uh, youth no mga out of school youth in nearby communities no ng ng uh, Escuela Talier ng headquarters ng Escuela Talier sa Intramuros so Baseco, Tondo, Delpan even mabot pa yata ng I mean Santa Ana no uh, basta sa Manila no uh, with specialized skills no we train them to have skills sa construction particularly sa field ng heritage uh, conservation so that may magamit sila uh, so that they can use uh, they can use uh, those skills later on to advance their economic uh, status while uh, helping in the preservation of our uh, the country's patrimony. So, yan po ang um, quick introduction about uh, Escuela Talder. You can go to our uh, Facebook page if you want to know more about uh, Escuela Talier. So, how do we facilitate this, uh, the training, no? Uh, fina-facilitate po itong training, ginagawa itong training, kagaya nung nakit na yung mga uh, 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 trainees or bata kanina, through the project. So we engage in projects similar to what we did uh, or what we've been doing sa uh, Paco Park. No? So we engage in projects, actual projects po, no? parang OJT, but all this learning uh, by doing because these things, uh, when you teach skills, you have to uh, do this in actuality. So Malati Church is one of the uh, early or one of the major projects ng, uh, ng uh, Escuela Talier. In fact, I just uh, went there. I just went back to Malati Church uh, last week uh, to check on what's uh, the, the condition after after five years na ma, ma rehabilitate yung kanyang uh, walls. So before and after, no? Uh, uh, this was in 2014, if I remember correctly. Uh, sa palit, ginawa natin yan. Uh, but right now, ang active sa Pampanga na project ng Escuela Talier ay yung sa Holy Rosary 
uh, parish sa Angeles. Uh, galing din tayo sa Batanes. Uh, we also help them restore the, the walls of their uh, local uh, houses uh, there. Uh, San Pablo Cathedral uh, facade and the uh, belfry we also uh, uh, deployed our trainees you know, and even graduates uh, there. This was after this was after the uh, Cebu and uh, Bohol and Cebu earthquake. You no, know, the parish priest uh, back then asked us to inspect the facade of the San Pablo Cathedral. So uh, we did something. So that's the to shot after. And also, we are doing, uh, we did the San Agustin Choir Loft, ano, yung Silierias, yun, yung mga, mga upuan. So makikita nyo, uh, maraming uh, uh, trades ang tinuturo sa Escuela Talier. Masonry, uh, carpentry and woodworks, even uh, electrical, no? metalworks, uh, and plumbing. No? So construction, no? sa construction, specializing in heritage conservation, particularly built uh, heritage. So we applied uh, this uh, approach, no, the learning by doing, to demonstrate no, uh, the proper or the fit, appropriate preventive conservation method for the, the Paco Park, particularly dun lang sa Oswati, no, uh, para mas manageable yung project. No, Nag-focus tayo dun sa Oswari kung yung special place for children, remember kanina, no, dun tayo nag-focus uh, 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 para, para to show no uh, not only to NPDC but to people what can be done what can be done to in in, in maintaining uh, 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 the the walls of uh, uh, Paco Park no in fact while we are doing this a uh, 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 project is also ongoing so um, uh, being implemented by, by 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 a contractor so they are taking cue no doon sa ginagawa ng eskwela talaga paano ba ginagawa ito paano ba inaalis yung bato uh, nagre-repoint nagbabalik ng mortar nagtatanggal ng halaman etc etc so uh, that's why demonstration na uh, uh, project ito but uh, later on makikita natin na hindi lang sa actually parang project lang na pang construction no this this initiative no to demonstrate what can be done sa Paco Park is part or 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 uh, uh, nag-originate siya because of this uh, international symposium on disaster risk reduction through preventive maintenance. Again, very timely uh, disaster risk reduction. Marami na naman, I'm sure, mak makikita tayo over social social media na nasira na heritage assets ng Pilipinas. Isa sa mga nakita ko ngayon is yung roof ng tabako, tabako church no? na natanggal. No? So, uh, we had this this, uh, this uh, risk reduction uh, through preventive maintenance uh, symposium where we invited international speakers to share their knowledge and experience in uh, doing preventive uh, maintenance uh, work. No? But hindi lang professionals ang nandito, hindi lang mga heritage advocates. In fact, we tried to, we tried to involve people. We tried to involve uh, the community around, uh, around Paco Park no uh, uh we entitled the event or that, that initiative my pakialam ako sa pako so these are some of the people who participated in that excuse me in, the, in that event no because we want them to know the value of uh uh the old pako cemetery and it's uh uh many possible roles sa sa, sa kanila no as a as a community, you know, the area actually, Manila, as, as a whole, is rich in uh, heritage uh, properties, built heritage assets. So uh, we tried to invite uh, the barang Barangay officials or even uh, constituents nila, et cetera, et cetera, advocates, so marami, no? just to, just to uh, share to them uh, kung paano ba nag-maintain ng isang adobe structure, particular tayo doon sa isang adobe. And then, Again, another result of that symposium is this manual, you know, is this manual, the Preventive Conservation Manual for Adobe Masonry Walls in the Philippines. Escuela Talger intends to develop manual, a very detailed manual in uh, doing preventive conservation you know, because we believe now you don't 
don't need um, uh, to restore, fully restore. You don't need a major, uh, major production, kumbaga, no? major project no? to save. Ayaw nga natin i-save yung ating mga heritage asset, but we want to continuously maintain them. So we will we were starting off with uh, uh, the preventive conservation manual of uh, adobe, adobe masonry walls. And in fact, we are developing a digital content for this. No, again, adjusting for the new normal. No, we try. We will try to come up with uh, this manual and also have uh, a workshop or a seminar uh, detailing these uh, things. No. So yeah, uh, let's go back to uh, Paco Park. No. So if you can see, that's the original plan, and uh, as mentioned, kanina, no. Uh, an outer circle was, outer wall was added later on. Added later on. So if you can if you want to see the, ano lang, ano, the transition. Okay. So uh, yung circle sa taas no, is where Escuela Talier worked on for about, I think, three years then. Uh, yeah. No, uh, nakadalawang batch ng trainees uh, ang, ang eskwela talyo dito, no. And uh, to try to conserve uh, at least this part or demonstrate how to conserve uh, properly the the walls of the park, no. So yan yung backside, no. Uh, sa, sa mga taong familiar sa area, this is the street where a lot of uh, trucks pass pass by. So this is an aerial photo before the uh, conservation. I'm using the word conservation because this is the umbrella term and uh, just for, you know, uh, technical stuff. Uh, uh, let's try to define muna conservation, no? process and measures of maintaining cultural significance of a cultural property. I'd like to point out that what really, uh, what important really is the, the maintenance of the cultural significance. No, uh, yung, yung, yung cultural value talaga niya yung minimaintain, uh, minimaintain natin doon. No? Kasi pag nawala yung, ano na yan, nawala yung, yung, yung built property na ito, for example, eh, along with it, yung kanyang, I mean, significance, no, wala na siyang, wala na siyang, wala na siyang, uh, wala na mag-embody sa kanya, no, kumbaga, no. So we'd like to uh, define conservation as uh, this, so marami pa under conservation, you, you, you do preservation, restoration, reconstruction, protection, etc. We don't want to get too technical about this thing. So uh, we go ahead. So we go ahead with the conservation. No, So this is part of uh, a photo during uh, uh, the uh, conservation. No, uh, So conservation as... as Recall, no, marami, preservation, restoration, reconstruction, etc., etc. What we did uh, is a combination actually. May mga part na nirehabilitate, may part na nirebuild, may part na nirestore. No? So, yun, hindi siya one single uh, approach lang. No? We want to uh, preserve and reveal the aesthetic and historic value of the monument. That's why, why, why we do... Why we do um, Restoration, we want to respect for original material and authentic uh, documents or the source of the uh, information. No, so we also do restorations. No, because um, I'm sure, uh, sa tanda ng ating mga heritage uh, structures, marami ng modifications, alterations na nagawa sa kanya. No, but uh, uh, time can only tell. No, uh, can only tell. Uh, na yung mga ginawa pala before ay hindi tama. So ngayon, na nakikita natin yun, nakikita natin yun, we do restorative uh, work. One of the main uh, part of the uh, park or the cemetery is yun nga, yung sa Oswari, itong entrance, entrance niya. If you can look closely, no, or if you want to take screen grabs or photos, uh, this is a time to do so. No, because babalikan natin tong conditions na to, medyo mag uh, mag forensics tayo ng konti sa so built heritage no. If you can see mga niche doon sa loob, no? Mga niche doon sa loob na minu-modify nila or pinipersonalize 
din ng mga owners noon or, or mga relatives nung uh, nakalibing doon. Uh, kung makikita nyo ngayon, kung makikita nyo sa picture na to, uh, old photo na to, no, yung columns dun sa harap, no, mayroon siyang uh, balot na natutuklap, natutuklap na, no. Yung mga rough, I think the rough uh, texture that you are seeing ay mga dried, ano na yan, mga dried um, moss na siguro yan, mga lumot, no. So, Uh, ganito ang nangyari sa kanya fast forward fast forward from the left no uh, uh, archival photo no uh, and then bago galawin ng uh, eskwela talier ganyan siya no marami nang nagkaroon ng intervention sa kanya in fact ang dami niyang palitada na semento no na mabilis nang mabilis nang matuklap so eskwela talier uh, after the interventions sa so rightmost uh, photo no uh, may mga pinalitan tayo ng ano pinalitan tayo ng mga stones uh, may mga kinorek tayo ng interventions tinanggal na bakal etc tinanggal na halaman etc etc yan ang naging result makikita niyo ibang process diyan no one of the interesting uh, one of the interesting parts of the Oswald is this part no Ganyan natin siya inabutan, may halaman, pero may background dun sa kanyang central piece, may what seems to be lang bungo yan, dalaw, tatlo, no? Uh, tatlo. So, we remove the plants, no? Because plants are bad for uh, plants that are planted, no? Foliage planted uh, right beside a masonry wall, lalo adobe is bad. No, for the wall, no, bad for the wall. Maybe good for the plants, but bad for the wall because every time na didiligan yun yan, no, hindi lang yung halaman ang nagsisipsip ng tubig, pati yung adobe na kikisipsip yan ng ng kikisipsip ng tubig, no. And then later on, lalambot because adobe is malambot. It's really soft. You can carve it by hand, no, when it is so. Soaked in water or baskaet basa nga lang eh, no. Pero pag tuyo naman, patigas naman siya, no. Imagine niyo naman yung mga Spanish colonial era churches natin are still standing right now. So may integrity yung material. Just keep that integrity intact, no. So that's why we have to remove that and do the repairs, no. Do the repairs. If you can see, if you can see, if or if you can zoom in, may nakita ka yung red dot dito. No, I'm sure mo okay na yan. I hope you can see that, guys. No, sa and kita nyo butas. Actually, butas na yan. That's a bottle of masito yata yan. This is not a sponsored event, pero I think bote ng masito yan. So butas na siya. And if you can see yung mga cracks, no, ang dami nanya, dami nanya. In fact, ang dalina namin tong na demolish or na dali namin tong na na disassemble no so what we did is ay disassemble uh, to uh, disassemble and then ni reassemble no ni, ni, ni reassemble after reassembly uh, pinalitadahan ng appropriate appropriate uh, plaster hindi na semento no kasi nakita natin yung pinapalitada na semento nung araw eh natatanggal No, so ang compatible sa kanyang uh, mortar ay lime based uh, uh, mortar. So and then uh ilagay din natin siya ng lime wash, no, na uh, medyo madilaw or maputi, no. Ang tawag namin diyan, uh, care of uh, uh, architect Markel Luna, no. Ang tawag namin masking tape yellow, no, para siyang yung masking tape natin. So uh, yung mga Uh, bungo na yan. Diyan siya galing, no? If you can see, if you can see dito sa, ano, yun yun. And again, subukan kong mag-zoom in. Zoom in. Actually, yung parkada ng bungo na yan, hindi lang sila tatlo. I think, one, two, three. Anim. No? So, anim. Anim yung skulls na yun. No? Uh, we saw, we saw a uh, document 
documentary din na medyo buo pa no medyo buo pa yung medyo buo pa yung mga skulls na yon but uh ah nyo si ganda no no so yeah so Siguro mamaya sa question and answer, magtanong kayo, I'm sure, bakit hindi nyo na-restore? No? Because we, hindi tayo confident, hindi tayo confident na tapos yan. No? Again, i-zoom natin. Hindi tayo confident, well, uh, I, I'm, I'm good or okay lang ako admit na hindi kami confident i-restore yung detail na yan. Uh, because uh, unang-una, uh, maganda pa ang conditions ng unlike yung mga katabi nito, no? yung mga paligid ng uh, wall na to, pangit na or madaling gibain, itong central part ay magandang condition except for that hole kanina doon. No? And if we are to restore, hindi lang siya basta-basta na applic, no? hindi ganun po mag-restore na ay mag-carb ka sabay idikit mo ng epoxy hindi po uh, the way what we want we want it restored the way they did it before but uh, doing so would mean kailangan i i disassemble tong buong central area na to so uh, hindi na muna hindi na muna but later in life kung my opportunity to restore those details uh, why not no why not so but, but right now uh, the structure this part of the structure at least uh was uh, uh st stable so hindi na natin siya in -storbo. so for context ang paligid niya ganyan no and then uh ginawa natin yan sa buong walls ng uh, Oswari uh, i really hope you can visit this uh park uh as soon as possible uh time ano so Ina natin yan. Mapansin nyo walang niches dito. So parang central part siya dito. Ang mga niches niya nasa gilid. Ayan. And then when we remove the harmful cement uh, cement plaster or cement material, ito yung nakita natin. Ano? So the niches uh, before, no, if you can imagine, try to imagine uh, these uh, cavities being empty, lalo nung bagong gawa siya. No? Uh, and then choice na ng owner siguro kung nakita niyo yung photo kanina din no kung paano nila tatakpan so what we found out ay a variety of materials adobe uh, bricks no even may marble pa yata doon sa ibang part ng uh, park no so no so yan no because it was decommissioned uh, early in the 20th century no at uh, akala namin nalipat na yung mga nakalagay diyan yung mga inililing diyan apparently not lo and behold nung minsang yung isa sa mga nakita namin ano yung iba empty but this particular niche ay ay ano pa uh, nandun pa siya intact siya at may laman siya we were not able to identify kung sino yung nakalibing dyan, but uh, ang nag-recover nito ay ang uh, National uh, National Museum. So yan. So I think they, re they recovered uh, this, they collected uh, this, and then the rest of the niches ay kinover lang ulit. And then we did the same. No? Uh, we did the same sa pinakita natin kanina. So kinovera natin yan, and then inayos. Ganito na yung naging uh, result niya. No? So the, the, the trimmings uh, are in masking tape yellow, kumbaga, and then off white or white yung the rest of uh, the rest of uh, the walls. No? So from here, naging ganyan siya. No? Showing you. And then from here to there. Then here, no? So yung iba, pag ginalaw, pag sinimula ng galawin, ang dami na naglalabasan, ano? Ang dami na naglalabasan, ano? So makikita nyo, uh, from here to there, no? It's not an easy intervention. Isa to sa pinaka, ano? Because may mga pako dun. So, uh, this is this is evidence that the Paco Park or the Paco Cemetery walls uh, were 
uh, repaired previously. Hindi lang once, but um, I'd like to believe several times all, already, which is a good sign, no? Uh, a good sign of the intent that they, uh, uh, people before want to uh, want the walls of the cemetery uh, to remain erected, no? However, minsan yung execution lang nung mga maganda nating intentions, dun tayo nag uh, kakamali, uh, like yung paglalagay ng mga pako na to. No? So makita nyo, ganyan yung laki. No? Nilagay nila. No? So, uh, yan yung mga nakita nating conditions. And speaking of conditions, lahat po ng conditions na nakita natin dyan, at least the quality of the surface of the stones and the interventions and the cracks, uh, we, we record them. No? Para um, hindi lang para lang i-record uh, ang purpose nito is kung sakaling mag uh, kung sakaling mag uh, recur yung issue for example this crack here ang blue I remember I crack no kung later on ma ma observe natin na yung ano may crack din ay hmm, at least may al alam tayo ay recurring core recurring crack to. Baka mamaya hindi lang yung wall lang may problema, baka foundation na yung problema. So those kind of things. That's why we we record uh, this information. no? And then from uh, the archival photos, of course, maganda din siyang source ng ating basis, ng ating interventions, lalo na yung mga details na i-restore uh, natin or reinstate uh, natin. So from there to there. No? So ganyan siya. I hope this is big enough. So from an archival photo uh, during interventions and then after. No? So, and then sa harap, sa harap, uh, what's funny is uh, again another proof, no, na na uh, marami ng modifications interventions to before. You can notice this particular stone here. No, zoom natin. Yung mga arkitekto natin or students na nakikinig siguro. Eh, this looks like or this is a reused uh, molding, no? Sa kung saan galing hindi na namin uh, alam but it served its it served its uh, purpose for quite a while, no? If not for the again for the for the attached uh, concrete or cement uh, uh, plaster. So we had to remove that. No? So from here, alala nyo to. No? So uh, we, we, we did the, those uh, repairs to this. No? So, uh, minsan nakala natin, um, uh, we, we see, we see uh, structures still erect akala natin sa eyes natin they are stable but deep inside them we are hurting <laughs> diba uh, uh, parang nangyari sa mga Bohol churches in Cebu some of uh, the churches na tinamaan ng malalakas na earthquake no um, it's unfair para sa earthquake if if i may say na attribute natin yung destruction dahil lang doon sa earthquake na yon no uh, when when uh, we saw the condition of the rubble of the uh, churches sa, sa, sa buhol, nakita natin na powdered na yung loob niya. So, something happened uh, before or years back na, na nag-facilitate ng pulverizing ng inards, so to speak, ng mga ng walls ng mga churches dun sa, sa, sa buhol. So, we really have to think about the, the, the actions that we do, lalo sa ating mga heritage uh, uh, structures. No? So that's why yung rehabilitation na ginagawa, no? uh, ginagawa natin yung modernization, very limited. Kung napansin nyo, even yung detail, always very limited. No? Yung, yung bungo na tatlo, hindi na, hindi na na-restore, na reinstate. No? Uh, conservative, kumbaga, so to speak. Uh, we rehabilitate um, parts or the buildings as a whole no? uh, para ma-restore natin, quote-unquote, ma-restore yung kanyang um, usable state. No? Rehab. No? We can also apply that no? uh, sa mga 
sa mga mga substance uh, abusers kumbaga no rehab ni rehab din so pwede rin nating i-rehab ang ating mga buildings para maging uh, uh, usable sila or nasa good condition uh, sila how can you not rehabilitate this part of the the wall na almost no almost uh, uh, kaya mo na siyang i deconstruct di it is assembled by bare by bare hands no so kung nakikita niyo no hiwa-hiwalay siya na siya hindi na siya magkaka hindi na siya magkakadikit no and then when we restore no din is assemble natin yan uh, when we disassemble those uh, stones uh, ano tayo no yung replacement dapat harmonious or compatible siya dun sa sa original that's why we use the same type of material that was used by the original uh, builders no hindi lang material pati yung method no kasi pag nag-rebuild ka for example uh, nag-rebuild ka uh, baka hindi na tama yung pag-rebuild mo and then you try to rehab or uh, correct those uh, uh, defects kagaya nito kumbaga parang if i can say kumembot yung buong wall so this is if uh, you're wondering no ano itsura niya after so before application of this color ay itong ano yan no so escuela talier and its graduates and its trainees are able to do that because of the training that we do no this is part of their learning by uh, doing they cannot learn this sa uh, classroom lang if they remain in their workshops they have to do actual projects no so that they they learn how to carve these stones how to put back these uh, stones hindi lang sa bato pati sa adobe even even sa metals no so they can do that because of their uh, training and many of these workers many of these graduates are now in uh, yeah in in Holy Rosary Parish in ang um, in Angeles no si yung nasa kanan si Hazel itong nakapula is actually the assistant foreman doon sa sa uh, sa Angeles uh, Pampanga so i uh, just want to uh, show this photo ng mga transition between finishes ano or uh, i mean i mean uh, phases phases of uh, the finishing you can see on the right most uh, part of the photo ay yung uh, before palitada or before the lime plaster no yung sa bandang uh, uh, gitna yung central part niya ay yung naka-plaster before lagyan ng yellow na or and white na lime wash so we believe these interventions no these interventions uh, can uh, prolong the life of this uh, uh, heritage property of this heritage asset uh, national cultural uh, treasure um Pasha. No, I'm showing this because uh, uh, again, uh, madaming I don't know, madaming comments. Parang before, no, nung ginagawa yung Paco Park, madaming opinion yung tao about uh, what is being done or paano siya gagawin. And it's okay, no, it's okay. We learn uh, from everybody. We learn from the things that uh, we do. We want to uh, present to people uh, transparently how we do. Uh, these things, how they uh, look like, no? Uh, the basis of this color, actually, ay ito, no? If you can see, may mga traces pa siya. May mga traces pa siya na nandun. Uh, yun ang basis ng uh, finish that we applied uh, there. Because when we leave the adobe stones na exposed, no? Uh, they will be, uh, yung rate of erosion will be uh, faster than necessary no in fact uh, the lime wash or yung kanyang coating ang mag erode instead na yung adobe because it's difficult to carve adobe in fact sa isang project ng Escuela Talyer nahirapan ng mag-source ng, ng ng adobe so rather than uh, rather than uh, allowing the stones the adobe stones to erode to decay over time e put a sacrificial quote unquote ano artificial uh, coating sa kanya but it's hindi lang siya maganda sa kanya hindi lang siya artificial protective pa siya and uh, canvas pa siya for uh, artistic expression for example color or uh, painting in, in some in some on some structures no so 
that's again uh, towards the end of this uh, presentation no i hope uh, you enjoyed uh, uh, the presentation very simple presentation no uh, this is actually the first uh, first ano yata na, na present ng eskwela taliel itong uh, project na ito uh, more public publicly and i was fortunate to uh, you know pedal my way to Paco Park last week. No, no, no last week. About about two, three weeks ago. ago no, at at the no, condition, niya. No, no. Our buildings or you know our properties do not remain, ano, uh, clean, no, and shiny because they are exposed. No, unless ilagay mo sila sa glass box, they are exposed and they um they they gather, ano, accumulate dirt and kung ano ano pa dyan, ano. But the good thing is, alam na natin kung paano natin siyang i, i, uh, i maintain how to clean it, what materials to use, ano yung dapat iwasan, ano yung hindi dapat uh, gawin. And 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 uh, we know that because of the approach, no, uh, the approach, the knowledge, no, na na nagain natin over over the years. Because this our builders before, they 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 knew what they are doing. That's why. Umano nga yan, kaya tumagal yan ng ganyan katagal, no? Because they must have done uh, something right. And on that note, I'd like to end the uh, yung knowledge and skills ng traditional construction na yun. We should learn from those. And they because they are crucial in prolonging the life of our built uh, heritage and in maintaining its significance. Kasi kung mawala yung mga skills na to, ay hindi na namin alam gawin yan, wala nang alam na gumawa niyan. Paano pa natin naalagaan ang ating mga uh, pamana ng ating uh, bayan, ng ating lahi. So with that, I'd like to end. Maraming salamat. I hope you enjoyed uh, the, the presentation tonight. Maraming salamat. Yes. Sakto. Wonderful. <laughs> what a great presentation. Really thank you, Architect, for, for that informative uh, presentation of your your work at Paco Park and the other work, the incredible work that Escola Talier is, is doing around the country. So we're very we're very thankful, of course, um, for for what you guys have done, being a beneficiary of Escuela Atelier's work as well as the Embassy of, of Spain. So, uh, you know, we look forward to working with you as well for the next the next steps on how we can oh, continue yes. the, the conservation and preservation of of Paco Park. So we do have a couple of questions um, from our viewers about uh, what was presented this evening. So if you don't mind, I will just um, blurt out some questions <laughs> that, um, that have been asked, that have been asked. So first off, uh, we have here um, a question about the, the designer of the Paco Park itself. Now it was a Spaniard, right? That designed Maestro de Obras. Is that correct? Uh, the designer, uh, I think the inform information about the designer. Uh, the guidelines, the thing that I mentioned kanina, the guideline should be designed by an architect or maestros de obras. Kung wala, kung walang, kung walang architect, but uh, mm, wala tayong think, nakuwang information about the designer. Right. And, I think it's, uh, I read somewhere at Don Nicolas Ruiz. So, he developed the plan. Parang yun ang na, nabasa ko somewhere. <laughs> and also, uh, um, a Don Jose call. But tama, it was the Chinese who executed the... Uh, Chinese contractor. Chinese so, noon pa man, guys, may Chinese contractors na. <laughs> and yun, yun din ang nangyari din sa Intramuros, di ba? We had, um, we had Spanish, I guess, architects or designers. Pero yung mga nag-execute talaga ng mga plano, ng mga designs contractors were actually Chinese, mm -hmm. even the churches back then. Um, I remember watching one of the Paco Par uh, Intramuros. Marame, marame. That's interesting. So we have another question. Um, so why did you decide on the masking tape yellow hue? Will it fade? Will it will it fade into a different color eventually? So why, bakit, bakit yung masking tape yellow? And will it fade into a different color eventually? Because that is the hue that we, ano, 
that we uh, found out na, na, na ano natin na uncover natin in removing the the you know the cement plaster that was added later on actually maraming layers no tapos doon eh, attached ex, uh, attached mismo doon sa ano sa adobe our use of uh, that kind of uh, yellow in fact ang, ang sobrang hirap actually niya i-match uh, the challenge was uh, we know that a major yellowish siya pero in some parts in some parts medyo medyo matingkad siya na yellow na ano pero yeah the the, the basis of that uh, yellow ay uh, information that uh, was found on the site on the site itself on the surface of the stones itself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay that's that answers your question one of our viewers so, so hindi siya ano hindi siya kinover ng masking tape ha <laughs> Hindi siya over ng masking tape. Uh, masking tape yellow lang. Tape ang tawag, yes. I'm... Oo, para kasing, well, yun yung ano namin. Kumbaga parang hindi namin maano yung pantone color niya if we have to technically define based on the pan ano, pantone. Uh, ano. Yes, color reference yun, yung masking tape yellow. So ganon, ganon. Kasi may nababasa yata ng comments. So, so yun, we have to, ano, sorry. We have to clarify that. Hindi siya kinukuwera right. ng masking tape. Pa. Right. And it's a lime wash. So it, the, what type of paint was used specifically? It's not hindi siya pintura, no? Pintura. Hindi siya pintura. Lime wash, lime wash or lime diluted lime putty, and then uh, may pigment, may mm. coloring ano siya. The good thing about it is light siya, light siya. That's why confident kami na lagyan siya ng coloring material because we don't think. And over. hopefully the, the pigment added will not alter the performance, the long-term performance of the lime wash. Uh, unlike, unlike uh, ano lang, no? a quick note lang din. Unlike yung nakita nyo kanina sa San Pablo Cathedral, no? mm -hmm. uh, sa San Pablo Cathedral, sabi na, paano namin papupulahin to ng husto? Ayaw, we don't want to we don't want to add too much red na available na pigment in the market and then later on baka masira yung performance ng lime kapag nag-set na siya pag nag-cure luckily luckily uh, brick is a natural pozzolanic material or clay material no not uh, or, or ginagamit talaga siyang additive sa ano so we, we had to pound to powderize yung brick and then add those. so yun ang nakapagbigay sa kanya ng red uh, color na hindi in fact maganda pa nga siyang mix add mixture sa sa bricks okay. great great another question is what is the importance of conservation management plan for Paco Park ah conservation management plan is uh, very important because it will dictate the long term care Ano, the long-term safeguarding of this national cultural uh, treasure because it will tell you what or what not to do, what activities can be done or not done inside the church, what disaster risk reduction policies you can, ano, for example, yung puno. No? Kung if you're familiar, everybody's familiar sa Papa Park, for example, yung malaking puno doon, o kagaya ganito, may dumaan na bagyo, it can that that's a conservation management plan can set uh, a policy or a guideline can tell you uh, what to do about it what can be considered at least uh, in, in in you know in, in considering that particular uh, aspect of the park so management nga siya you see how important kung iko-connect ko lang sa, sa sa royal decree noon ano ang ang detalye i'm sure ang daming detalye nung ang daming detalye nung decree na yon ano the same way how we should detail detail kung paano alagaan siguro the same level of uh, detailing ilagay natin in, in in managing this this uh national cultural treasure kasi pang long term siya eh ayaw na nating humingi ulit yung NPDC for example napakalaking uh, amount Whoever to to do a major conservation project because we can do it little by little over time. 
So that conservation management plan can tell us how to do it. So that's why it's really important that heritage assets have conservation management plans. Makes sense. And we hope to definitely do one with you guys in the near future. Gawin natin yan, Jess. Yes, that's our next. That's our next. Our next project. Our next steps. Another question is from Miss Abigail Shokonko. Prior to the conservation works done at Paco Park, was there any coordination between Escuela Talier and National Museum since Paco Park was declared a national cultural treasure? Uh, the coordination, I think, was done by NPDC. By NPDC. You know? uh, lalo, na, lalo nung nakita, yes, uh, sila nga yung nag, ano, nag uh, what's the term? Uh, Nag-retrieve or nag-exhume nung, ano, nung mga remains doon sa... Ano, sa niche na nakita pinakita natin uh, kanina i think it, it was it was coordinated naman by the ano uh, npdc no? yeah, and through npdc was that the only niche that you guys found uh, uh with, with yes your... pretty much the rest i empty tama ba michael yeah yun lang yung natitira in fact my my while we were doing that may nagpunta pa nga doon and then asking about about uh, about uh, a relative who is supposedly who is supposedly ano doon, uh, buried uh, doon. And then may nagtanong din dito sa Zoom, ako nababasa, ako may record ng ano, uh, as far as Escuela Talier is concerned or the knowledge uh, that we have or information we have right now, walang, wala, personally ako wala pa ako nakitang list ng mga taong naka ano doon. Although yung iba pang ano doon ha, iba pang niche doon, may natitira pa, di ba Jess? Yeah, that's something I think we we also at, at NPDC are also needing to find more information. We also yeah. need more information, more research regarding yung mga, mga pangalan, yung mga those who were buried there from, from yes. before. So very interesting, very interesting. Um, we have another question. Um, we're going back to the the lime wash. Is that is there a connection between that and the recent color change or yung naging orange yung kulay ng San Agustin Church from before? Uh, what, the, what the question is, if uh, the question if my connection yung yung lime wash or yung um, well, lime yeah, wash. I'd like to believe so because this used to be the practice of, of, of uh, in finishing yung mga stone surfaces no usually usually lime lime wash or plaster naka naka plaster siya no again sa context ng ano natin ano sa context ng what we are celebrating right now no all saints all souls day uh pupunta tayo sa cemetery i remember i remember uh nung bata pa ako, yung mga side street or even yung mga nicho, no, parang may pinapahid sila na, ano, may pinapahid silang party or whatever. No, ngayon na lang, when I went to conservation, ah, yun pala yun. Parang siya similar to lime wash. Kalburo yun, actually, kalburo. Gray, medyo grayish yun eh. Medyo grayish yun. So, it's been a practice na mag, mag, ano, mag, uh, tawag dito, mag cover ng, ng lime wash. No, so I think yung sa San Agustin, I think meron silang basis noon. Yung yung orange particularly, I think they would not um, physical evidence. And we see that we see that no usual, usual color, parang salmon pink, orange, yellow, white. Makikita mo yan, even if you go to vegan, many of the houses there have may blue pa nga, may pink pa. So I'd like to believe na may basis yung color particular color na yun. Okay, very very good answer. So going back to when you no. approach a site and conserve. Sa loob, sa loob ng San Agustin, madami pang kulay na ganun actually. Yeah. Right, right. Sorry. Yeah, so so going back to when to conservation. So how do you 
on the spot dictate or what di dictates your details or design choice choices. For example, you like you mentioned the schools. You know, there are times I'm sure that you'd have to, parang resort to make to doing your own judgment, ba? Or as a as a as a as a team, or how do you go about dictating the design choices or details? Which details to to parang rehabilitate or? Um, yeah, good question, Jess. No, because as an architect, no, you 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 talk about design. Uh, uh, mag magandang mag I mean based on what we've learned uh, experience at ah malamang ganito yan ganito yan ano but if we don't have hard evidence talaga that can support yung interventions mm -hmm. no kagaya nung skulls yung skull na yon ano although may, may, may ano may may photo tayo na source no mm, we decided not to no, we decided not to because yun na nga, yung integ we don't want to to disturb the integrity of that central part. Maganda pa siya eh. Kung na-notice niyo sa mga pictures left and right, left and right, madali nang i-disassemble eh. That particular central area is uh, uh, very much intact pa. No? Mm -hmm. So, hopefully not <laughs> later on kapag kailangan siyang gawin. I think kaya may source na tayo. Alam alam na natin. And yun nga, in design ng skull, how to do it. Unlike, unlike yung, kasi yung mga natitirang skulls, medyo deteriorated na rin eh. Mm. Unlike yung mga, um, ang tawag doon, yung mga angels, mga mukha ng angels, no? Uh, several of those were, uh, ano na, uh, hand-carved na. New, bago na yun. Ah. Recreated na yun. So, kasi may basis tayo, katabi niya, ganun din eh. So, may, may basis tayo para gayahin. Malinaw, maganda pa yung ano niya. Pero if, if kung nagkataon na yung mga conditions nun eh, pingas-pingas din, may, may different din, di natin alam. Maka mamaya, pangu pala yun, pinatangos natin. Yung ilong nila. <laughs> so, hindi na siya accurate, hindi na siya, you know, we don't want, ayaw natin ng chismis. Ayaw natin madagdagan ng chismis. Madami ng chismis yung mga heritage structures natin over time. I mean, we call it chismis. Sorry to use the term, no? Chismis, I mean, kasi hindi natin alam kung totoo ba o hindi or ito ba talaga yung intention o hindi, what happened here, etc., etc. So, sa, sa, sa linggo ng team namin, we use the term chismis, no? Pag hindi namin alam totoo ba ito, hindi, we can bear up. Chismis muna yan. Mahirap yan. Yeah. When, when we, we try to avoid that no, we want to be truthful as much as possible sa ano natin. Conjecture is the term no, that we are looking at. No, ayaw natin ng conjecture. Ayaw natin base yung ating intervention sa uh, conjecture. However, mayroong ibang conservation works, I should note, that would require us to add. No? Mm. To add. So that ma-prolong yung life, for example, yeah, structural interventions, etc. Et yeah. no, we don't want to be purist. We don't want to be, you know, mm -hmm. ah, we don't want to freeze time sa mga, mm -hmm. ano na, for, for these uh, structures, but we want them to be experienced later on. And then if, if the situation calls for that, then why not? Kailangan lang maingat, maingat tayo na yung gagawin, no, the things that we are going to do are, we will not harm further what is left of the fabric. Of, of the structure. Tama, tama, tama. So, gan ganun yung approach natin. So, medyo, medyo tricky. That's a tricky, ano. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's tricky nga. <laughs> it's hard to explain to people, but yeah, it's, it's... Yeah, yeah. Thank you for, for, for that. Another question. Are there similarities between the work that you're doing now with the Holy Rosary Parish in Angeles City with the work you did at Paco Park? Similarities. Uh, well, uh, hindi lang between Paco Park and dun sa, sa Angeles Church. No? Uh, in most cases, in most cases, ang unang, one of the first things that we do, magtanggal ng mga, ng mga incompatible na added material. Mostly, yun talaga yung, ano, yun talaga yung, uh, pag-construction pag work na intervention works, isa yun sa mga unang inaano, no? uh, ginagawa. So kung similarity, that's the one, one main or, or 
Mm-hmm. Uh, constant na common denominator between ano no, between between projects, no. Mm-hmm. So yon is is a yon and then of course you know yung mga deteriorated stones yung mga hindi na naka-attach na stones uh, mostly ganon kasi pareho silang material eh unreinforced unreinforced masonry itong mga ito so the, the the I mean I think the behavior of the the material and then the the methods approach that were applied to these structures were similar kaya uh, that would result also to similar ano uh, would manifest similar conditions mm-hmm. 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 very interesting All right okay thank you and then how long did it take for you to do the conservation work for this section of Bajo Park the research the planning and until execution I think inabot din ng over two years yung project. No? Mm-hmm. Inabot siya ng over, over two years. No? That's why we concentrated uh, sa area na yun because we know no? uh, yung initial observation natin, uh, hindi siya kakayanin na isang taon lang, six months lang. Otherwise, mm-hmm. mamadaliin mo siya. Otherwise, uh, you'll, you'll stumble. As, as, as we often experience, we stumble Uh, upon many many conditions no kahit makita mo ay ganito yan sa labas sa pagdating sa loob hindi pala siya siya ganun so it took us two years more than two years doon sa sa area na yon no kasi yun na nga different eh it's baga parang as, as, again as an architect sanay tayo ng plan and then execute no that's a major ano plan execute however sa conservation iba eh however you plan However you plan, laging may susulpot na again the, the, the term that I use chismis, no may conditions na lalabas that would, you know, um, force you to you know depart from your original original plan. Daming adlib, kumbaga. Daming 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 adlib. But you have to finish the song so to speak. So correct. Ganun pa rin. Nabot na two years. Cuz you discover things along the way. Yes, 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 yes. Na hindi Yeah, hindi pasok sa plan or you know, yes, so you yes, maraming paper. ganun, no? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's it. And then this yung, yung mga that, those things that you ano, you you find out along the way. Uh minsan yung decisions pa how to approach those things uh would take time. Of course, hindi lang eskwela talaga, we always in, give this information to the partners, to our partners, to the owners, to to the appropriate agencies, other professionals, etc., etc. How will this affect, how this information, this particular condition will affect uh, other, ano, uh, ng church, or ng church, ng, ng, ng project. No? So, madami, madami. Tama. It's always good nga to involve others. Hindi lang kayo nagde-decision. Hindi yung no. community. It's a, it's a multi-stakeholder no. process. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. So, Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, no, uh, we first uh, uh, one of the mga decisions na I mean na, na, na remembering the decision making process, ano, or the wait time is is a Malati church. Hmm. Is a Malati church. We had to do the main facade uh, uh, last. No, kailangan huli siya. No, we did all the side walls and then later on. Uh, now that you saw the effect of the interventions, ano, how would you want the ano to ano to look like? Parang ganon yung tanong namin sa community before. But uh, the bottom line for us there is we need to we need to what we impress to them is we need to protect the stones. No, we need to protect the stones from deterioration, just like how we protected the other side walls, especially this. The main, the main facade is facing uh, the bay, no? Uh, so, ganun. So, uh, yung, yung salty wind, you know, uh, strong winds with salt, very harmful sa stone yan. So, kaya hinuli namin, hinuli namin siya. Imagine, it took us four years, no? To, 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 to give the information and tiunte because uh, at initially, hindi ito maintindihan siguro ng tao or hindi ma-accept. No? Mahirap i-accept yung may shock value kasi 
I remember, I remember this particular project, no? When when nakita nila, ay, bago na. Ba't nyo ginawa lang ganyan, ano? So, and then that's why we take this opportunity uh, in presenting uh, this project, not only to present the project, but also to inform people of such actions, why why such actions uh, were ano, implemented. Okay. So, yun. Another question. How do we prevent the dolomite from deterioration? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> joke, joke. We have another question from another question from one of our viewers. Uh, ano yung mga ad libs? What particular ad libs at Paco, at Paco Park proved to be especially challenging for your team? Ay, teka, ad lib? <laughs> ad lib. Alam mo yung ang hindi ko maintindihan personally no mabaliw-baliw ako bilang ano uh, hindi namin makita i mean yung termination ng mga moldings no yung termination ng mga moldings kailangan na mag-adlib ni namin alam kung anong gagawin namin parang ako yata ako ng insecurities because of this <laughs> I mean, <laughs> parang hindi ko siya masolusyonan. If I can share, no? Balikan lang natin. Magandang question kasi eh. Yeah, a uh, question. Sige. Iano natin, balikan. Ay, ito pa pala. Naka... This particular part, dun sa may hagdan, yung termination ng mga moldings, ang hindi namin maintindihan. So, parang... Ito. Uh, ad lib. So we have to kasi wala tayong information, wala kaming drawings. Uh, yung photos ay hindi ganoon kalinaw. So this one. No? Uh, can you can you see my screen? Yes. Let me see. Ano screen niyo nakikita niyo? Yung yung may ano, yung may broken line. Yung ba yung nakikita mo, Jess? Yes. Ayan, yan. Okay. So ito, itong termination na ito, yung molding na ito, di namin, tsaka it, lalo ito pata, pala. Di na, namin alam kung paano mag-terminate. Ah. Di namin alam kung paano siya mag-terminate. Ganito siya noon, pero it looks odd. Even this one. So yung mga details na ganito, parang hindi namin magduktong. Eh, kami, sanay kami, as, as an architect, pag ano, dapat may termination, may tamang duktong, etc., etc., so yan, no? Hindi namin ano, so isa yan sa mga so isa yan sa mga challenges, no? One particular ano din, uh, detail din if you will notice, uh, although ano na siya, uh, more than an ad lib, it's a uh, it's a uh, in, hindi naman innovation actually. Ano siya, uh, improvement no and nakaano lang siya dito eh naka blur lang yung mga taas ng moldings we ask uh, we ask uh, our graduates to ikleve siya no ng konti pababa so that it can properly flush water away from the wall tapos nilagyan namin siya ng drip mold no medyo pinatulis namin yung ano pinatulis namin yung uh, edges yung edge ng molding so that hindi gumapang the, 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 the water won't creep doon sa wall at pa-absorb niya pa. Makikita niyo yung effect sa, ay, ano ba yun? Sorry. Makita niyo yung effect siguro. Uh, anong screen yung nakikita mo, Jess? Sorry. Ayan. I see the front facade. Okay. Ayan. Kung, kung nakikita niyo, uh, effect, somehow effective siya kasi limited lang siya doon sa may top ng top part ng moldings both yung ano ah, central part saka yung entrance hindi na siya gumapang yung tubig mm -hmm. and i think i have read something somewhere before i think yan ang silbi naman talaga ng moldings other than decorative lalo sa labas is to flush water to lead the water away from the walls so kung maglilinis tayo yung mga person personal nyo just sa NPDC yung part na lang ang lilinisin Yan ng part na lang, part na lang ang i-retouch. So, that may be an ad lib or an innovation or an improvement doon sa original ano. So, although hindi siya part ng original, but we decided to do that because we know that it will prolong the life of the stones kaysa sa mabasa siya ng mabasa lagi. Di ba? Correct. Yan, among ganyan among others. Very nice. Very nice. 
So is it is it correct to call it os, os, the ossuary and the infant site? Parang dalawa siya eh. Hindi siya, ang akala ng mga tao yung ossuario, ibig sabihin nun ay infant site. Hindi, hindi siya, they're not the same. They're two different things, correct? You have the ossuary yung sa likod, which was the mass grave. And then yung infants sa tabi, sa side. Yes. Infant side. Correct. You don't, um, yeah. That's how I, that's my understanding. That you have the mass grave yung sa likod, you don't ta- yun talaga yung ossuary or osario. Tapos mm-hmm. yung sa gilid, yun yung infant site. Yung saan nakalipin. Infant. Y- y- ibang reading nga, may ang, ang term pa nila, ang gel... Angelwari, or parang something like that. May nabasa akong gano'n. Okay. Ako lang siya mabanggit. Okay. Kasi parang dual, dual purpose, dual ano eh. Um, yeah. Kaya may angels din sa side. Yung yes. Yung ginawaan uh-huh. yung, uh, yung part of the details. Yes, yes. Okay. Wonderful. Last question. And I think everyone's waiting for this. If there are any scary or spooky stories or mga naramdaman during your conservation work <laughs> at Paco Park. Nakakagulat, no? Ako may experience ako na nakakagulat. And then broad daylight, ha? Hmm. Uh, broad daylight. Uh, uh, this was during the start of the project, no? So open pa yung Paco Park. So punta kami sa likod. So, alam mo naman, maraming blind corners na, no? as we were inspecting. Punta ko doon sa likod. Kung nasaan yung maraming bungo kanina, pinakita ko, di ba? Yung parang kung saan sila tinatransfer after hindi sila makapagbayad ng lease. Siguro, if you saw that, no? Doon sa likod yun, eh. And it's very, ano, uh, uh, well-hidden area. Pag punta ko doon, may nakita ako dalawang bata. Dalawang bata. Siguro mga, hindi naman batang bata, siguro mga early high school. Magkakandong naglalampungan. So natakot ako para sa kanila. So sabi ko, uy, huwag kayo dito. <laughs> <laughs> so Paco Park, I'd like to tell lang na Jess, as one of the administrators ng Paco Park, Paco Park used to be a PDA area of, you know, these young people. Mga high schoolers. So, well, well, uh, Yo nakakabigla, nakaka, nakakagulat. Pag turn kong ganun, uy, may naka may babaeng bata na nakakandong sa batang lalaki. <laughs> so, ganun. so ganun. pero spooky wala naman. Wala pa naman so far. Wala naman, wala naman sana. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Ay, marami nagtatanong kasi especially during ganitong, you know, during this time and I'm sure you, you heard about the Jessica Soho Kagabe. <laughs> Ay, oh nga eh. Yeah, it was quite, it was quite intense, yung mga kwento. Ah, mga... talaga? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Balita ko, may bata din daw nakita si, ano ah, si Ed eh. <laughs> yes. Marami, marami. <laughs> so, um, but, I uh, just wanted to say thank you uh, for, again, for, you know, for, for, for joining us. To all our viewers, we also, you know, we have actually a few more. Uh, we have several uh, webisodes or webinars lined up with Escuela Talier again. Hindi to ang huli. We have more um, coming up. Ah, of course. Right? Architect Boom. So um, we're definitely going to be continuing this conversation about Paco Park. Paco Park is celebrating its 200 years this year. And of course, we will have a, a grand celebration um, by December with the Manila Heritage Concert in Paco Park will be wow. the centerpiece of this concert. Nice. Um, of course, kasi the, the Garcia Brothers of Hot Dog, uh, whose music will, we will be showcasing, were also inspired by Paco Park. Um, they lived in the Paco Park neighborhood um, when they were mm-hmm. writing their mga kanta nila. So Paco Park was the inspiration for their music. So yeah, so we have a lot to look forward to. <laughs> All right. Good for Paco Park. Good yeah. for our heritage. And good for our heritage to promote our heritage. Right. And uh, we continue to preserve, right, and um, and respect our heritage, our culture. I think, Pamana. So again, thank you, Architect Foom. 
thank you. Yes, thank um, you. Also to Escuela Talier, um, our partners in this. And of course, thank you to all our Zoom participants and Facebook Live viewers for joining us and making this Park Conversations a success. So please don't forget um, to check the chat box or the comment section in Facebook Live for the survey link. Only those who are able to successfully answer the survey can submit, can receive a copy of their digital certificate. So again, thank you, architect uh, Foom Kobilia for sharing your knowledge with us. Um, and for those, again, who missed some parts of the webinar, please rewatch it on our Facebook Live. It will be on our uh, Facebook page. It will be on demand. And again, thank you. Thank you. Maraming salamat to, to all thank of you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you again next time. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Have a good evening. Good evening. Bye-bye.